Um, I think we just got to be smarter and we got to make the plays. You know, we have plays to make, but it's not on one guy. You know, like some you know, some guys beating themselves up over plays they could have made. But at the end of the day, it's a team effort. And I thought we fought hard, and and I'm so thankful that like, to be around guys like this that don't ever quit. Cause that that's like something that's not taken for granted. And my teammates, like this, is my brother, like, family. And they never quit on me. You know what I mean? And that's like such a good feeling. Like even after football ends, I know they still got me. How was Javante's spirits? How was one more time? Javante's spirits. I know he was he got hurt there at the end. Yeah, I think he's good though. I checked on him after the game. He was good. I think just a little bruise. You know, when you, you you're a big guy like that, every every hit is like a small car accident. <laughs> so um, he just got to take care of himself. So here we go. Uh, what can you guys uh, learn from this and just sort of taking it into the rest of the season? Yeah, um, that for discipline we can beat anybody, but for not we're vulnerable to losing games. Um, I think I think. At the end of the day, it's, it's like a true team effort. And offense, defense, special teams, like we all got to hold each other down and just play for each other, which we do. But it's just a matter of like putting uh, all three units together, creating a good game. After touchdowns that you're not a part of, you seem to be one of the, the first ones to the end zone for your boys. How exciting is it for you to see Deami have a night like tonight? Yeah, he told me, and well, he was telling everybody before the game that he was going to have 300 yards. We were like, ha, yeah, all right. Not like he wasn't gonna do it, but it was all right. We can't wait to see it. Like type deal. He had 200. Should get it. <laughs> Three touchdowns. So, um, do like that is special, and all my teammates are special to me. You know, they like that that room, the receiver room, is has made a lot of turned a lot of heads this year, and you know, credit them the way they work hard. You know, it's a lot of stuff that like, y'all don't see. They're in the summer. They they would go to the indoor 11 o'clock at night just for fun. Just go out there and work on routes. The DB come. We're there. D line's there. You know, it's it's stuff like that that makes like playing football the special. Is the games are fun, but it's really the, the brotherhood that that we create. So going back to the question, like how to see that? How to see Diami like make me feel? How to see my teammates in the end zone make me feel ecstatic because I know that they work for it. In some ways, the window to achieve the bowl game is shrinking. Yeah. Now, how do you go about not feeling that pressure and letting it get the best that you do? Well, I've never been to a bowl game. So, it's not, I don't think it's pressure. I just think it's, I want to go to a bowl game. I want gifts. Um, I want to spend more time with my friends. Uh, I want to play one more game. So, it's, it's motivation, you know, more than... Oh my God, like, time's running down. I just, we're gonna take it one game at a time. We got pit next, after the bye. It's gonna be fun going to Heinz Field. Then we got Mercer, then we got the other team. So, I'm excited, I think we're gonna win out. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Um, what's that? How easy is it for you to kind of put something, a game like this behind you with so much on Yeah, it's um, a good question. I think that I do wear my heart on my sleeve. Like, I love the game. Like, I really do. Like, if I didn't have fun, I wouldn't play it because it hurts. Playing football hurts. PSA, playing football hurts. After games, I'm sore, I'm hurt. But I really do enjoy it. And I love being out there with my friends, making plays and doing everything. But it's also a switch, you know, you gotta be able to put things behind you. And that comes with like being mature and, and evolving with the game as you get older. Like. A lot of like younger players probably had like a harder time, especially with a game like this where we had a lot on the line, you know. But it's about how can we, how what can we do, what can we control, you know. And I think our attitude is something that we can always control.